guys, it's your girl Sophia, and today I will be teaching you some tips and tricks on how to solve a puzzle quickly. The reason why I chose this puzzle is because it's a New York City puzzle, and that is where I'm originally from. There are lots of cool places on this puzzle, and it's also like a little map. Okay, so let's get started. Step one, you want to set yourself up correctly and have a good space to lay out your puzzle pieces and when you're done with the puzzle, so it could fit. <laughs> and there goes my dog. You also want to have a picture of the completed puzzle next to you. And in that case, it's on the back of our box. Step two, you want to dump out all your puzzle pieces on the table or floor, whatever you're working with. If I could get this open, okay, finally. You want to make sure that they're facing up and when I put my puzzles on, puzzle pieces on the table, some of them were facing down. Once you have spread out your puzzle pieces, you could do one of two things. But first, you need to know the three different kinds of puzzle pieces. The corner has one going straight and one going down. And there are only four corners in this puzzle because it's a rectangle. The center doesn't have any edges on it, but it does have pieces that you could connect and put in. And there's also one piece that has a straight edge. So you have a corner, a middle piece, and an edge. Now that you know the pieces, I can explain the two options to you. One, you could collect all the edges and corners and put them to the side and do an outline and then fill it in at the end like this. All right, now that you have the center pieces and you have the edges, make sure to grab the box and place all the center pieces in, but make sure not to grab the box that has the picture of the puzzle because we're gonna be needing that. So now let's add. So now that we have the border, you can fill it in and use color coordination, which leads us to the second way that this could be done. Instead of putting all the edges together, from the beginning you can color coordinate sections. For example, this puzzle has lots of different colors that you can color coordinate. Let me look here. If that is an orange piece, you could look there and say, okay, that's orange, that goes in my orange pile. All right, now we have our color coordinated piles. As you can see, we have red, orange, pieces with yellow, water is light blue, we have white lettering, green, and some dark blue. As you can see on the box, Queens is orange, Brooklyn is green, Manhattan, Manhattan is red, Bronx is yellow, and those are all the colors. So I'm going to start out with the very first color of the rainbow, red. You did the section of Manhattan, which is red, and then we did the water, which is light blue. And I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of the puzzle. And that is how you quickly solve an 100 piece puzzle. And this is the final product. So remember, make sure you have a big enough space to make your puzzle and also to sort out your pieces and color coordinate in little piles with or without doing the border first. And now, the best part, breaking it! Thank you for watching. If you like this video and find this video helpful, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Bye for now.